Alright, hey there Proxenius, this is Proxfight here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Metroid Samus Returns Let's Play, and if you guys missed out in the last episode, we are finally here at the planet of the SR388. Uh, we just got to learn about a little bit of the basics, uh, so we know that uh, if we press Y, we know how to fire our gun, if we hit X, we know how to do our melee, and we know how to do our jumping and whatnot, and uh, also to learning how to also set up for our uh, rockets as well. Uh, so that is all really good. Uh, I believe we are going to be taking care of our our very first actual type of boss that is going to be here so that we can actually open up the next area for where we need to go uh unfortunately we don't really have uh the upgraded missiles uh, because unfortunately uh, i totally forgot that uh uh you are able to um I, I think if you like shoot the little rocks uh that that are very secretive you can actually get yourself a free missile just before falling on down here but not to worry because once we actually do be able to get ourselves the sparta ball we can literally come right back and uh, grab out that uh last remaining uh, other missile that we can go and pick up but I'll make sure to do that uh, before we start heading down into like any type of elevator shaft or well actually um, well the spider ball is actually located in the second level of this area so we'll make sure to, to come back here um, once we're all done with the second level portion but for right now let's just go and head through here and uh, we'll figure out what else is going on I know that we kind of stopped right here because there is going to be one of those metroids that we do have to go and look for uh, but just make sure to uh, fire at this guy whenever he does uh, striking you at all. Now, this actually does need a, uh, a charge beam area, and unfortunately we don't really have that. Uh, so we just have to go and literally figure out a different way on knowing how to get through here. Well, uh, the one area that I do know is that if you do come up here, there should be a little bit of a path, which you can just go and jump up across and get right down here, which I believe that should land us right into where the... Uh, where the charge beam location will be. Get some extra missiles along the way here. Now you could go into uh, many different areas if you want to. I I'm pretty certain I don't think you can really head down to the bottom right away yet. But there's going to be something nice that we can go and pick up down there. Uh, but let's go and check here first because I could be wrong. Okay, you want to make sure that you shoot all these guys down first. I'm just going to fall down here. Nice. And I think this area, I think, is the other charge beam area. So, of course, we can't do anything about that. So, the only one here, uh, so the only one thing that we can only do right now is grab this. Okay, let's see what we got. The scam pulse. So, it's not the charge beam, but we got ourselves the scam pulse. But that is also uh, relatively nice. The scan pulse literally uh, kind of helps you uh, kind of know your surrounding areas and to figure out if there's any type of secret blocks or anything that that's uh, literally uh, um, around here. Now we do have uh, Aeon fuels, which I believe that's going to be something that we can also upgrade as well to get some uh, extra stuff. So relatively nice, but uh, you want to actually want to go and do is shoot up around here and just fire. Yeah, I think this should be good enough. Fall down this way here, and you can go and blast uh, this rocks. And now you can just go in and shoot these guys in the face. Ouch. Yeah, these guys love to dash and just be super annoying. Alright, at least we're all good. Back up to 99 health. Huh. Now this would be a good time to set up for our scan pulse, but we'll just kind of fire through here and see if there's anything special. Huh. I think we do need our uh, rockets out here. Nope. I know that there's something that's supposed to go here. I may probably have to set up for the scan pulse. Now I think... Uh, I don't know how you actually set up the scam pulse. There you go. Now it's, it's supposed to be telling us where we need to go from here, but don't really see anything out of the ordinary. I thought there was like some sort of like grabby thing that I'm able to like climb up here and grab, but but that's not there. Maybe there's a different path that we do need to fall down here. Could be wrong. No. This does seem like the right path to go. Oh, here we go. So this is the right area. Okay, never mind. So there's no grabby thing here. 
But it is this path to go and take. Yep, and here we go. We're on the Metroids. This is where I believe we're gonna get into our very first, uh, whoa. What the heck, just sucked out all the life force out of him. That's not good. Oh, now we can set up our amiibos, but I don't use amiibos. I don't think, not once, I don't think I've ever really bought uh, amiibos before, but uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys ever used uh, uh, amiibos. I have been thinking about buying amiibos for like Smash Brothers and stuff like that, but uh, oh, it seems like we're already good anyways. Yeah, that's basically our uh, energy uh, uh, restoration things. Uh, they are pretty hard to find and pretty uh, pretty hard to come by, so just kind of be lucky that, that they actually did find one. Uh, most of these are like in like most like secretive type of places, so... Uh, now come here, you. Now I see that my Metroid meter is going off, so that means there is a Metroid somewhere lurking around here. Oh, come here. Out. Do it again. Oh, come on, man. I wanted to do it. There you go. Now, I think if I try to get up here... Yep, yeah, unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. So, that's uh, planned out for another time. We need another type of upgraded thing to grab. There we go. Yep. Take care of that. Section right there. Oh, we can blast some other stuff. Well, let's see. We actually got ourselves a save point already, and we also got ourselves a uh, little secret missile area down there. Okay, well, let's go and take the save point first, since we are here. Because I do hear the Metroid meter going off, so we are getting very close to it. And that's kind of a, also a big help, too, is that if you ever do get lost, uh, you, you, you can know that uh, if, if it starts uh, blinking red, you know that you're getting close to uh, one of the... Metroids that are here that we actually do need to grab. Out. Ah, nice, nice try. Not gonna do that today. This here. Nice. Missile tank is already in our grasp now. So it looks like we may. Out. Yeah, that's not good. We're getting a little bit low on health right now. Go through this, and I think this is where we're gonna get into our very first uh, boss battle now. Now he's changing up. Whoa, what the heck? It's like he's like, like hatching himself. Whoa, okay, that's gonna be one weird enemy. Now if you go and do this, you can go and use your uh, missiles for it, but just be careful that you don't get electrocuted by these guys. Nice. And then you can just pull it fire him like that. There, and I think he's already down and out already. And majority of this fight is going to literally be exactly like that. So, like, uh, unfortunately, uh, since there's not, like, really any, like, type of, like, uh, nostalgia bosses that are going to be coming back here in this game, except for Ridley, uh, majority of these bosses are going to literally be those Metroids, and they're going to be doing the same exact type of stuff. Uh, now, while we are here, we should probably go and get ourselves all the charged and everything. Just want to make sure to do that before I leave. Whoa. Oh, no, I don't like this at all. Leave. Uh -huh. No. Get out of here. I need that healing stuff. Thank you. Give me all my health back. Because I wanted to continue. Now, uh, since we already are done, there is another, uh, another area that we can go and check out. Check it out. Again. Jump through this. Nice. Just hit him. So let's figure out what this other secret door is. Go. Oh, watch out for all these guys. Yeah, at first it seems like all quiet and everything, but it's really not. Because uh, there's going to be some enemies that are going to literally respawn in that spot. There we go. Now we got all of our ammo restored as well, too. So now we're finally down here. Ooh, don't want to forget about this E-Tank. 
Nice. Okay, so I know that there's a charge beam spot, so we can't really do anything. But I think we can do a little bit of some more exploration down here. Yep. So the free missile tank right away. I'm gonna take that right now. Nope. Come on. Get you out of here. So just keep my head up through this way like so. And I think yeah, we're almost getting close where we need to be. Come here, dude. I'm right here. There we go. No. No days to confuse. Let me shoot you down. So there's two charge beam spots. So it seems like the only one area that we have to go down is this way. I'm gonna make sure to do this and enter through here. Yep. We already know that we are getting get ourselves the charge beam. Okay, cool. So yep, just like our normal, uh, just like our normal gun this time, if we actually go and uh, hold down the Y button, we can actually charge it up, and we can now enter through here now. Now, uh, I think every time that you go and talk to, uh, or, or, or whenever you go and meet one of those uh, Chozo type of statues that are there, they'll give you uh, more uh, Eon type of uh, refueling capacity, so you can uh, go and use those for like your scanning and whatnot, which is relatively pretty nice. And I think that happens for like all the different items that you, uh, or all the other different upgrades that you can uh, do here. Now, I don't think there's anything special down that way. So it looks like we have to do a little bit of some backtracking. There we go. So now we're finally back here. Ouch. Hey, that was very nice. Come here. Yep, so now we're all healed back up now. So come down this way and add this into the weird, uh, weird type of thing here, the statue. And now we'll uh, release all the water, and now we got ourselves a new extra area. And now we just can go and head down now. Get out of here, dude. All that health. Come on, dude. I know that you want to strike at me, but it's not gonna happen. I think that may have probably got him. Okay, open up this door. Whoa, ouch. I was kind of too late there. But I'll get the hang of it soon. It's still, I, I'm still kind of a little bit rusty with it, but it's kind of, it gets a little bit simple. Ah, uh, yes. This is where we're going to get into, I think, the teleportation type of areas. Which that's going to be nice as well. Got a little bit of some Castlevania. If you guys have ever played uh, Castlevania Aria Sorrow, you're able to like teleport from different areas to areas. That's kind of like what's happening here. So. Ah, yes, so we're gonna get into some more bombs. Which that is gonna be relatively awesome. Can't wait until that happens. Yes, and we also do have some new enemies down here as well too. And unfortunately, I don't think we can do everything. Yeah, because this area we're going to be blocked. But you can actually kind of cheese stuff a little bit. Because uh, if you guys know how to do the morph bomb uh, type, of, uh, type of jumping glitch and whatnot, you can actually kind of get through here relatively easy. So yeah, so we do need the morph bomb for that. Or the spider ball, it doesn't really matter which one. But we will come back here a little bit later. I don't think we can really do anything about this right now. Or can we? Uh, let me see. Maybe if I... No, it doesn't even do anything. Doesn't matter. Okay, so... I think we're a little bit lost. I can't really remember exactly what we need to do here. Oh, here we go. So it looks like we do have to take care of these guys here first. Get you out of here. Huh. Well, we well we can't do anything about that area. And we can't even go up here because unfortunately, uh, 
that has a whole bunch of like slippery stuff. Even if we do have the, the spider ball, we can't do anything about that either. Oh, here we go. I think we have to blast through this. Yep. Ouch. And also get ourselves in here. Now we got ourselves the elevator to actually take us down. And I think this is where we're going to get into uh, more of these annoying Metroids that we're going to be seeing. Because this time around, it's not going to be only one. Uh, I think it has to be, I think, five or something that we do have to try and grab here. And here we go. And we're down in this spot. We got more of you. And we got more these guys. Get out of here first. You can also uh, use your melee on them as well too, but uh, miss all, you, you can miss all of them and they will go down uh, relatively pretty fast. Uh, now these guys. Them. Now I don't really think there's anything too special. But we'll pop down this way. Yep, save point. Nice. Don't mind if I do. And since we do have quite a bit of health, I wouldn't mind saving here for the time being. There we go. All saved up. Go get you out of here, dude. And I think we made it to our next spot. Oh yeah, we also do have all these new enemies, which uh, they are actually going to become uh, relatively important pretty soon, but we're not going to do it right away yet. Uh, but once we do get ourselves the Ice Beam, that's when you kind of do need those guys uh, for a little while. Because there's going to be some uh, hard, type of, hard type of areas to find. So yeah, Okay, so it's, not, uh, so it's not five, but it is four. I mean, you can actually hit them as well too, and get some nice good, nice good health from there. Okay, now we're in this area, the tropical type of section. Feels a little bit like Metroid Fusion in the uh, Aqua area. Okay. Oh yeah. So don't go in here because that's where all the fire is going to be. Unfortunately, we don't really have. I just, I don't even know what the variant is going to be in this game or not. Come on. I don't like you being there. It's just gonna be a less of a problem than it has to be. But if I do. But this man's like literally freaking out. Nice try. Ouch. Yeah, now you get out of here, dude. Let me just hop in here. Oh, not today, dude. Yourself all days to confuse down here. Whoa. Ouch. Ah, oh, come on. Get out of here, man. Just got double teamed right there. So we can't head down that way. Oh, well, we can't actually go and take this little secret pathway across. That leads us into another safe point area. I guess we'll just save for right now. Now, uh, there is two Metroids, uh, I think over on this side, and I could be wrong. Come here. Put that health back. And I think this is another, oh, okay, never mind. That's the fire area. Okay. Maybe I have to go down a little bit further. Get you out of here. There's an annoying guy. Oh. Wow, that is like the most annoying spot to put those guys there. Come here. I know they want to do it. Not today though. And uh, at some point we will get the morph bomb that we can just head down into where that water section is. Uh, but we'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. Yep, there is another missile pack. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we do need the more cost for that. Come on. I dare you to do it. Hit me. Oh, come on. You guys suck. Uh, no. Not those. Oh, I, okay. I think this is actually it. Because I'm pretty certain if you come down this way, I think there is a uh, rock that we can actually blast down here. I don't know if we need our missiles for it. 
Oh, you need a morph bomb for it. Okay. Gotcha. Ouch. Okay, let's just go grab these guys quickly. Oh, no. Ah. Come on, man. I know they even wanted to do it. Hit me. A little bit of my health. Oh, come on. That's why I get for kind of rushing through things. There we go. Get my health back. And heading down here. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Ouch. Oh, come on, man. Really? Well, I guess we got ourselves our first death. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that to happen. Okay, let's do it again. And this time, let's do it a little bit better now, shall we? Now, you can keep on firing him if you want, uh, but just be careful with the uh, little horse that he shoots out. Well, and also jump, because now we got ourselves a new type of move that you should be doing. Whoa. Okay. It's not done just yet. Come on, dude. Now, you can also uh, fire him uh, underneath him as well, too, while he's kind of doing that, where he's, like, dropping all the little blue orbs. And I think he's almost done, because he is turning a little bit in a different color. Whoa. Hey, man. You can at least do your charging attack to, uh, where I can just literally hit you. Ouch. Well, that was what he was trying to do. No, and I died. Oh, my God, dude. Well, this is not good. Try it out again, and hopefully this time we can do it a little bit better. All right, just be sending up orbs at me. He's not even gonna even worry about trying to do his little attack where I can just kind of shoot him down. Well, no. I think I should have came here with actually more life. Wow, I only got like only one hit off. Don't really want to try and waste out uh, too much of my stuff. Come on, let me get you out of here before uh, you start becoming a really big problem. Come on, third time has to be the charm, right? Yes! Alright, get out of here, man. Yes, and that. <laughs> And that hit didn't even do much. But now we got ourselves that DNA uh, thing from that Metroid. And I don't think there's really anything else too special going on. No. So get out of here. Now, uh, you can just go and grind uh, on these guys because they can actually uh, give out all the health back to you if you want. And also, too, with missiles as well. There we go. Well, I guess uh, what I'm going to do here is end off uh, this episode for today. So I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Uh, we uh, So, like, we literally just went and uh, taking care of, uh, of two in the Metro race so far. So I'm relatively uh, happy about that. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, and peace.